In this session, we're going to take a look at working with Simple Steps Raster 1.2 in the user interface. Once we've installed the software, you'll notice an advanced tools up here in your menu. If you click on that, come down and click on Simple Steps Raster 1.2, that'll open that in Corel Draw. Once that's open, the first screen that we'll see will be our check for updates. Now, if there has been an update since the last time you opened Simple Steps Raster and you have internet connectivity, you will be automatically notified of the update, or you can click here to check for updates. Take a look at our tabs here. We have a Precepts tab, an Auto Steps tab, a Click Steps tab, and a Post Steps tab. Take a look at the Precepts tab. Here we can set our color modes before we separate. Typically, we'll be working with RGB. This graphic is already set up as an RGB bitmap in Corel Draw, so I won't need to make any adjustments here. Next, I can set a substrate, I can save a transparency, I can remove transparency, and I can add a gradient border to my final color separation result. That really comes from Simple Steps Raster 1.0, and if you're used to working with that, you might want to set that here. Let's take a look at enabling our substrate for our custom color separation. I'll come over here and click on this green button. You'll see that that gets highlighted. That means it's going to be pulled, or that function's going to be processed out when we click on the Click Steps tab. Now here on my substrate, I could also click this and pull it, but I want to set this color. To do that, all I need to do is come down here to the eyedropper. And what I want to do is, you'll notice how I come down here into this color palette, I can't select a color. But if I come up here to the properties bar and click Select from Desktop, I can come down here and select a color. And we'll go with a light gray. Then I can come over here and click on Set. So now you can see that that button has changed the color that I selected with the picker, and I've set my separation to pull or actually set up my substrate background. Let's take a look at auto seps. And this looks like a very busy or complicated tab, but it really isn't. It's pretty simple. You can just click any of these buttons and you'll get a different result. But here if we look at the hue pulls, we can do a three hue pull. This is actually our CMYK. You've got yellow, cyan, magenta, and then you can also pull a black if you clicked the three hues. Or you could pick individual colors that you want to pull by enabling them. Or if I clicked on this yellow button, I would just pull the yellow out of my color separation. Now here under Auto Steps, working with this Coca-Cola logo, all I'm going to want to do is enable the red. That's the only color I'm going to want. But if I had other colors here, I could enable them. Or I could just run the entire separation process by clicking on the Six Hues tab. And that would pull my substrate, my white base. Then it would pull my red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, my white highlight, and my black. Now sometimes I'll do that to make some analysis of what colors I'm going to have in a separation, or if I'm in a hurry and I just want to separate something quickly, I'll just click that, and then I can walk away, and I'll come back in a few minutes, and I'll have my separations, literally, usually within a minute or two. We can also pull 12 hues. We've got tints and shades. We also have down here monotone, duotone, and tritone. These are really grayscale or sepia tone separations, and we have the ability to do colorizing of these in Simple Steps Raster. Let's say I was working with a flame graphic, and I wanted to make my white, yellow, and my gray, red. I could set that by coming here to the eyedropper. I'll go here to select from desktop again because I want to pull this from the color palette and draw. Go ahead and set that. Go ahead and click this again. Same thing here. And I'll go ahead and change this to a red. And I'll go ahead and click on the set. And I missed that with my yellow. I want to go back here. Again, I actually enabled instead of hit the set. I'm going to come down here and go to the red and I'll click on set there. Then I could enable these and if I was doing a grayscale gray color separation I'd actually colorize it. My white would come out as a yellow, my gray would come out as a red, my black would come out as a black. So this is very interesting functionality when you're working with grayscale images. Really when you're trying to do sepitones you can do them as just grayscales or you could set them up as colors but you can also do some colorizing of grayscale images and we've got some tutorials about that on YouTube. I'll go ahead and unset these, just left click on them and I'll go ahead and disable these here. So this is our Auto Steps tab. And the only thing we're going to do here is just pull our red. Now this is where we start getting into the real versatility of working with Simple Steps Raster. And that is the ability to do custom color separation. You can see that we're already customizing our separation setup working with the plugin and draw. And here under the Click Step tab is where it gets really powerful in the sense of being able to do custom color separations. I'm going to go ahead and enable my underbase. Now I could set that up as a spot solid, which that's what I'd want to use if I had all solid colors in here, and I could choke that, and that would choke by one pixel. I'm going to go ahead and pull my white highlight and my black. And if I wanted to set these up for tints or shades, I could do that also, and we'll cover that in some future tutorials. This is just a quick start for the Simple Steps Raster. Now a lot of times when you're dealing with a logo, 
you'll have some blends and we've just set that up by pulling the red and the black and the white etc but here with this logo we've got a unique circumstance in which we've got a couple of solid colors and we really don't want to pull these as blends and if we were working with this logo we'd probably want to print these as pantones or color matches based on the logo that we're working with we wouldn't really be able to pull these out of the click steps i could pull the green probably and this gray but really it's much easier for me to go ahead and do a custom color pull and i would do that by coming to the eyedropper here just click on the green come over here in the click steps tab and here's the first color in our custom pulls i'll enable that and once i enable that you can see that it's changed to the green now i've got some options i want to be aware of here i can do a full pull 75 50 and 25 percent i could do hue filtered typically this is where i work but if i'm working with solid colors i could do a perfect spot a trap spot now what a trap spot does is it pulls a perfect spot and it traps it by one pixel i'm going to go for a perfect spot here now if i did trap this what i'd be trying to do is compensate for anti-aliasing and you see that in a lot of bitmaps if some fading of the colors into each other and if you pull a trap spot that tends to work better and if after the separation you haven't gotten a trap spot you can always go to post steps and trap it some more to dial it in go here again i'm going to want to select this gray go here and click this and we'll set that up for a custom pull i'm going to go with a perfect spot there also now another thing i can do is i can name these custom color steps so that i'll be able to see them in my objects what they are i'll change this to green and I'm going to go ahead and select this here, and I'll change this to gray. So here I've got my steps pretty much all squared away. Actually, I've got everything I'm going to need for pulling the colors apart in this bitmap automatically. Go under precepts, I've got my substrate. Auto steps, I've selected my red. Click steps, I'm pulling my underbase, my highlight white, my black, my green, and my gray. That's because I'm going to be printing on a colored garment. I'm going to want this highlight white and the underbase. Now here under post steps, you can see that we can do things after we separate it, and we can also set how it is we want our separation results to come out. This is by default set to group monochromes. This is easier to work with. Most of the time, this is where I'll be. But you can also set layers and pages. You can go with grayscale, and you can also add a black border. Also here, as I said, you can do your monochrome convert, your monochrome revert. You can change your levels and curves. Sometimes if you do a separation, you might have a color that's not quite as dark as you want it to be so you might want to darken it up let's say your black comes out a little bit too dark and you can tell by your own eye that you're really going to get some dot gain with that you might want to lighten the black in your separations and you can do that here and this is all automated we can also trap which will expand the separation by one pixel it doesn't work with grayscales we can isolate and we can choke and choke will reduce a color separation and we use this on bases frequently by one pixel and you can do that as many times as you want and this will work with grayscales so we've got everything set up here we've gone through the whole user interface we, under, we understand how everything works all we need to do once we've set all this up is simply click on the quick steps button here at the bottom and simple steps raster will process our color separations for us automatically in Corel Draw. now when you're running separations from simple steps raster you don't want to have photo paint open that can crash the system you also don't want to open other software applications and do copying and pasting because simple steps raster is doing a lot of copy and pasting while it's processing you can see here we are going through the process in Corel photo paint and the only thing we do with photo paint is we go out and we convert our color separations to perfect grayscale transparencies that we can then convert to monochrome bitmaps directly in Corel drawing you can see how we work through that process and pull that apart now once we finish the separation I'll go ahead and close simple steps raster we'll zoom in here and let's take a look at what we got for a separation I'm going to go to the object manager here excuse me I've got the macro manager here we go here I have my click steps custom separation group I'll go ahead and expand that and you can see it here I've got my substrate now even though it's in a group I can select that and change the color as you can see there then I've got my underbase white, I've got my green and my gray, and these are the two custom spot colors that I called. Here's my six hues red, here's my standard highlight white, and here's my standard black. Now, when you've pulled spot colors like this, I'll go ahead and hold down shift and select both of these. I'm going to want these to be up on top of my black, as you can see right there. Now, this black and this white and this red, I'll probably want to set these to overprint fill. They already are. Now, if you want to see a more accurate representation of your color separations, all you need to do is come over here to View and select Simulate Overprints. 
and you can see the change in how that is viewed. Now I want to go ahead and copy this and let's compare this to the original object or bitmap that we were separating. Go ahead and maximize this here. I'm going to zoom out. I'll hit Control V. You'll notice it'll come back right in the place that we took it from off of the new page generated that we put the separations on. I'm going to need to go to View and Simulate Overprints and we can see how we did our custom spot color pull. The other thing you want to be aware of is you do not want this gray or this green set up to overprint. So we've gone through how Simple Steps Raster 1.2 works and all the functionality that we have and we can see that we've got a very versatile color separation system that you can use to very quickly and easily do bitmap color separations in CorelDRAW having all the functionality available in the plugin and all of it set up so that you could do auto pulls, custom pulls, and many different things to get your color separations put together very quickly in CorelDRAW. So we'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.